Hello, beautiful people. Losing Drea here. It is Super Bowl Sunday. And you know who I'm rooting for. This was their champion shirt from 2015. And of course, I'm sticking to my guns. I think my guys are going to win. Got some family members who are uh, Atlanta fans, so they think otherwise. But hey, doesn't really matter who wins at the end of the day. Somebody's going to win, right? So yeah, um, I did a couple other videos, but I haven't been able to upload them to you guys. My life's been a little hectic. Things have been going a little haywire. Friday, uh, I had I was actually doing a video for you guys, and in the middle of doing the video, I get a call from hubby that I'm doing the second take of that video, and a dog runs out in front of my car, and I did hit him, but he's okay. Um, it just it was crazy, but that was a whole day of other events that just you know, like a domino effect, one right after the other, and I had a keto, what I consider a keto relapse, but maybe it's not, I don't know, like some people have these carb up phases where they'll take one day and they'll, like a cheat day, and then they can get right back into ketosis by like, you know, just getting back in on the wagon or whatever. Um, my whole thing was that, you know, I was upset and I was pissed off and I let my emotions get the better of me and I had cake that I had made uh, from uh, Friday. There was a celebration. I made the cake and I cut the edges off the cake and I had put it in a container so that my mother can have it because she's not on no diet. She's not on no keto diet anyway. She says she's losing weight, but in any case, wow, I just realized how loose my uh, dashboard is. But so neither here nor there. I, I had my fill with some cake and some whipped cream and a few strawberries. And the next day I woke up feeling like I didn't want to get out of bed. I've had a little bit of headache going on the last couple of days, which, you know, maybe it's because I'm going now through a little bit of that keto flu that I didn't even get the first time around. But today's day 29 of being on keto. Um, yesterday I had a pretty simple day. I don't even think I came in on my calories, but I made what I consider to be a, um, it's a keto lasagna, but it's really my keto burrito. I just made it lasagna style. So it had more bacon in it because I made bacon blankets and I put one and a half on the bottom and then cheese and then spinach and then egg, then salsa, then more cheese, then another keto, uh, another, you know, the, the bacon blanket one and a half on the top. So, you know, there's a lot of bacon, a lot of egg, a lot, of, a lot of all that good stuff was in it. And I had a piece today for breakfast and a coffee with just a splash of heavy whipping cream. I think I'm going to try laying off of dairy. Like, probably not butter or cream, but definitely all the cheese. I never really ate a lot of cheese before. And now, like, I've eaten sour cream a couple of times with some guacamole and I ate that with a little bit of salsa on a salad you know like I'm eating all this cheese and I never ate cheese before you know to me cheese milk dairy you know all that stuff is to make a little cow into a big cow and I don't want to be a cow so I had always um, you know cut out the dairy it doesn't necessarily mean I'm not gonna get my fats you know my lean healthy fats for, and good proteins are, are, can come from meat. It doesn't have to come from dairy. So um, I think I'm going to do that because I don't see my weight doing anything but going up and down but kind of staying right in a certain number. And then that's not working for me. It is totally just pissing me off. Um, you know, I didn't even like have that much of a gain for the night that I say that I relapsed. Um, but in any case, I just don't feel like it's working for me, you know, like it's not, I'm not losing and I don't like not losing. And if you've ever watched from any of my videos, past tense videos from like before, I have, well, I have a problem with weighing myself every day, but you know, at least I know from weighing myself every day that I have always had a steady loss of at least four to six ounces daily, if not more. And now that is not the case. And I know it's about getting healthy first and foremost. And I know it's about the energy and the mind clarity and not being hungry all day and continually being in the kitchen and snacking. But the fact that I'm just eating twice a day, the fact that I'm not eating huge meals twice a day, and then I like had a gain from yesterday to today, 
and yesterday I'll have was like five or six pieces of bacon for breakfast and I had a coffee with like two servings of heavy cream and then I didn't eat anything until last night which was just one helping which I consider to be about three servings of my keto burrito and still like I didn't even come close to all my calories I don't even know what I did fats wise you know macro wise but I don't know guys you know I really want to do this I really want to keep going with it tomorrow is 30 days uh, that I will be on keto and um, yeah I got to do something different than I've been doing these last 30 days because if I am at all I mean I could I've been told that I could be um, peeing out ketones you know and I can be doing that and not necessarily my body my brain hasn't figured out yet that my body needs to use fat and only fat now for energy like that could come it could take a month it could take more than a month it could take six seven weeks I don't know you know I didn't have all that keto flu symptoms like a lot of other people talk about having like with the headaches and everything and I think that's because that I was already eating very low carb and my body was used to that um, you know non-intentionally that's how I was eating because I wasn't eating I was trying to stay away from like the heavy fats but I was eating some fat in moderation and not counting I don't like having to count I don't like having to think about what I'm gonna eat I just want to eat have normal foods that I know I'm used to eating and eat them and not go over my calories this counting of macros is so new to me that it, it can get quite confusing and sometimes I really just don't know what I'm eating and so I'm trying to watch the people who have been doing this for quite a long time see what they do I watch a lot of those what I eat in a day videos and things of that nature and um, I'm really trying I'm really really trying and I'm watching this holistic nutritionist who herself is on keto after uh, having some issues and being on hormone replacement therapy and so on and so forth I believe her name is uh, Leslie Leslie something um, trying to think of the name of her channel oh well I always do this and then I say I'm gonna put it down below and then I never get to put it down below and I'm not gonna do anything in this video to hold me up from getting it out to you guys once and for all and the other ones even though I know I did them I'll have to get to them today's the Super Bowl I'm focusing on that I have a couple of little errands I got to run and then I want to get back because it's already 2 30 in the afternoon so with that said be happy be healthy be beautiful but just be you be the boss of your loss if you're on a weight loss journey and I will definitely be seeing you in my next video bye guys be blessed